Hi there, so in this video we are going to look at adapters and basically adapters let you to uh, let you export your Svelte Kit app to any platform um, if there's an adapter for it. So we've got begin, Netlify, Vercel, Node, and Static. And anyone from the community can make others, but I'm going to look at Netlify. So Node is just if you want a regular Node backend. Adapter Static is if you want to export it into like static index.html file, whatever. Um, but we're going to look at Netlify. So let's get started. We're just going to, I'm in my yummy folder, and I'm going to init. So it's just an empty folder. And you'll see it's changed a little bit. So it, never, it doesn't give us that big stop error or stop warning anymore. And I can say, use TypeScript and components. I'll say, nah. CSS, uh, nah. Nah. But you can add those if you want. So I'm going to npm install. This gives me less to install this way. And then I can npm run dev. Okay, and that's just sort of normal. Actually, what I should have done is first open Visual Studio Code. Full screen that. Okay, so the default is a um, here in svelte.config.cjs, which is common JS, a common JS module has module that exports rather than like export default, etc. So we can install at svelte.js slash adapter dash Netlify. Okay, so if you're watching this in the future, like a few weeks after I post this or something, then you should just be able to do like npm install minus d for development and then adapter slash Netlify. But because it's still beta, and if you're watching this right after I release it, you might have to do at next like this. Okay, and then you'll install that. Uh, basically, if you come to the, if you come here to the npm package, you look at versions, um, you'll see the uh, seven days ago a new next one was released. But if you just do it without next, then you're going to get this really old one from four months ago, which no longer works. Okay, so you're going to have to do at next. Um, and then we can npm run build. And if you do that right away, sorry, I should have changed this first. So it's node, now we want this to be Netlify. And you can leave it like that if you want, but I guess technically you should probably change this as well to Netlify. Um, actually, what I like to call it is adapter. So if I wanted to change this, I could just change uh, that right there, to like Vercel or something. Okay, so let's. Okay, so I ran npm run dev. It worked because it was with the node adapter, but now I want to do it with the... Uh, actually, first let's look at the build. So this was the node app. So then we've got index.js and app.js. And actually, I don't even know which one would be the correct one to run, but let's change directory into build and have a look. So if I do node app.js, that doesn't do anything. I haven't done this before. Okay, index.js, then it's listening on port... 3000. Cool, and here is our app. So let's go in and change something like um, in our source, for example, hello um, birds. I don't know why. Uh, hello birds. So npm run dev, uh, run build again. Oh crap, now I did it with the Netlify one. Okay, now I'm all over the place, but um, anyway, you saw how it was with the Node app. So I could just run index.js with Node and then it's up and running. Okay, but now I want to build it with the Netlify one because um, I changed it. Oops, not here. I changed it to Netlify. Okay, so we're trying to build to Netlify. Um, and Netlify doesn't let you have um, like a node server in the back end. But it does let you have functions. So basically, it's going to build our routes to functions, and you'll see. Okay, so there's no Netlify.toml file, so we need to add that. Okay, so we can come here, Netlify.toml, and it'll just be a basic one. So it'll be build like this. If you haven't used Toml before, uh, this is what it looks like. And uh, command, so like the build command will be npm run build. And then we want to have a functions folder. This will be our serverless functions. And that will just be functions. And then our publish folder where like our static HTML files and JS and all that is, uh, will be build slash. You can name it something else if you wanted to. But um, we'll just go with build. Okay, now we'll do npm run build. This is with the Netlify adapter, and you'll see it fills it out with all of this stuff here. So there's still no HTML file, but we've got an index.js file, which I believe is doing like the server side rendering. Um, so if you have Netlify CLI installed, you should be able to just do Netlify deploy like this. Okay, if you don't have it installed, then it's, um, well, first let me deploy. Oh, my dog. 
Uh, link this directory, so create and configure a new site. And that's my team. So I'm already logged in online, so if I come back here, you'll see I'm already logged in here, and I'm already logged in on the command line. Site name, no site name. Uh, error, did you forget to run a build? Did I forget to run a build? I don't think so, but I am in the build folder, which I'm not supposed to be. So I'm supposed to deploy from the root. Okay, we'll do this again, create a new one. And site name, no thank you. And it's pretty speedy. And there we go, cool. And now we have this link right here that we can click on. Open that, uh-oh. i to go check on my dog in a sec. Uh, and here we are, hello bird. So it's already deployed to Netlify, and you'll see here, boring bends, if I refresh, I just deployed, now I have Zen for Matt, and I have a SvelteKit site up here. That's pretty cool. So that is how the adapter works. Now let's say I wanted to do static. I just want to have static HTML files. So then I would do what I did before. So rather than, way back here, rather than Netlify, I would do static. Let's see, I haven't tried this one, so I'm not sure if you need at next or not, but let's try that. And then here you can just come in and change it to static. Okay, and now let's npm run build. And cool, now we have an index.html file. So let's see what happens if I go into there and I open that one up. Oops, index.html. If I open that into the browser, okay, we have this um, because, let's see, we need to run like a little simple server. Um, sorry about this. Let me real, real quick. Python simple HTTP server. I always forget this. Um, simple HTTP, something like Python minus M simple HTTP server 8,000 maybe. Cool. That was right. Nice. So serving each on. Okay. So let's go to localhost 8,000. Cool, and now it's running. So this is just a static site now. Um, there's no backend, but let's say I added, for example, something else like hi.html. Oops, sorry. Hi.html, and then I built that. So get out of the bleh, get out of the build folder. Uh, npm run build. And now I should have a high folder, I would think. I'm not sure, but oops, I'm silly. High.svelte, high, not high.html. Okay, now there should be a high folder, or there we go. Okay, so now we have this as our route. So it just builds it out. This is how people used to do it, just have different HTML files, and they would be correspond to different routes. So now if I change directory into build and I do this little Python server, refresh, now I can go to slash high. Cool. So that is a static site that we have there. So no backend or anything, just normal HTML files and all that. Although it still has Netlify here for some reason. But anyway, uh, that is how Netlify and static work and Node, I guess, the, the different adapters. So they're pretty nice. I really like that I can just build my project and then sort of decide later uh, which one I'm going to build to. So you can try out for sell or begin. Begin seems pretty cool. Um, you can check that out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Again, remember this is just beta, so it's so all good beta, so things will change. But that is all for this video.